How you doing? Welcome back. My name is Rick. This is uh, Winder's Ranger. Got a project today that we're going to work on. We've got a leaking water heater. Uh, this is the second water heater I've had in this RV. Replaced it, um, I don't know, sometime last year, probably around this time. The tank in the old one had a pinhole leak and I found it was uh, had leaked on the compartment floor. Traced the water back and found it was the water heater. So I replaced it with a the same make and model. Um, I forget exactly what that is right now. I have off the top of my head, it's, I think it's a Dometic. Um, so today, what the issue is, it's been apparently leaking for a while, I'll show you in a second, is the uh, safety valve, the, the hot water safety valve, because the hot water tank builds up pressure. It's gotta have a pressure relief valve. Uh, we've got hard, hard water here. So the hard water builds up scale if it gets a little bit of a leak someplace, and that's, that's what we have, so that, that leak either got some junk in there to create the leak when the valve tripped or maybe the seat was bad and it started leaking but anyway it's got calcium buildup now and it's been dripping and I'll show you some of the buildup that you can see on the outside so give me one second here we'll turn the camera around so yeah it's a Dometic got the propane side here if you're not on electric the uh, the electric filament not real sure where that's at I think that's on the other side of the unit in like in the back or something uh, this is the safety valve here, and you can see that little drip of water right here at the tip of my finger. See that? So it's, you can kind of see the scale there underneath too, how it's been dripping for a while. What I suspected, I had an issue, of course I got water dripping off the side of the awning, that's what this, all this is here. But down at the bottom, you can kind of see, not this, but see the white, like calcium, that's not from the roof. Originally, I thought it might have been, but it, it, that's definitely not. So it's that white's coming from the calcium off of here. So what we got to do is we got to take this out. I'm running the water right now because I, I had hot water in it this morning to cool it off. But we're gonna once it's cooled off, we'll pull this, make sure the pressure's out, shut the water off, and then we'll pull this out. We got a replacement here. Get it out of the sun so you can kind of see it. It is a what is this? Three quarters, I think it is. I already forgot. Well, anyway, it's a, it's a replacement. Well, here it is on top. Same thing as what this is here. Forgot where it said now. It's 150 PSI. It said on here someplace. I think it was three quarter. Yeah, right there. Three quarter inch. So that's what a replacement is. Same thing. It's 150 PSI three-quarter uh, it's like a hundred and what was it 105 BTU so it's the same unit so we'll, uh, we'll get some thread tape we'll put that on here looks like they've already got kind of a pipe dope or something I don't know if I trust that and uh, we'll see if we can get this one out so let me go shut the water off all right shut the water off check low point drain check Here's the, the old one. You can see the scale down inside there where the spring is below the spring and the threads. That's why it's leaking. That thing popped open at some point. Got some scale stuck, stuck in there. Started dripping. And then the calcium in the hard water just uh, kind of filled in that extra void and made the problem worse. So Got the new one here. Let's make sure we got the right one. Just in case. I know we, uh, we've matched up the the tag on top of there but it's always a chance that uh, it was packaged wrong or labeled wrong or who knows what so okay, let's see if we can get this in the camera there yeah it looks pretty close same stem and everything so we'll go ahead and put our thread tape on put this in and test it out all it takes for your thread tape is just a, a wrap or two maybe three. Let's pull it off. 
and you want it to go the same direction that you're threading it in. If you wrap the tape the other way, then it, uh, it'll undo the thread tape as you thread the new piece in. Make sure threads are clean. It's about where the old one was. Let's see here. There you go. So the old one was more kind of 90 degrees that way. I've got this one aimed a little bit more to the to the bottom. So we'll turn the water back on, pressurize everything, and check it for leaks. Okay, new valves in. Looks like we're good. No leaks that I can see. It's pressurized, but it's only pressurized with uh, city water pressure. So right now we're, I think it's something like 50 couple PSI, something like that here, according to the uh, water regulator I've got on the standpipe. Tried to clean up some of the scale that was on the inside bottom here. Some of it didn't come off. I, I could have let the uh, lime away sit on there a little longer, but got a little bit cleaned up on the outside too. It's still not great, but uh, the unit's uh, ready for a wash anyway, so I'll get the rest of that later on. The electric's back on, so it's warming up. We'll give it a little bit and double check it here and just make sure, but I think we're good. All right, so it's been, uh, I don't know, hour or two. We checked uh, hot water. We've got hot water again. So uh, whether it's as hot as it's going to get or not, not real sure, but checking for leaks and we're good. So there's the bottom there. That's all dried. Could stand to be cleaned a little bit better. I'm not quite satisfied with that, but anyway, job done. So there we go.